Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. History is a treasure trove of stories that are compiled. Some stories are amazing and are told all the time, while others are hidden in the dark due to their mystery and sadness. Today we will be going over the disappearance of the Mesa Verde. If you like these kind of stories, and if you want to see more in the future, please like and subscribe. This disappearance occurred in Mesa Verde, which housed the people called Anasazi. Anasazi is a Navajo word, which means the ancient ones or enemy ancestor. These cliff dwellings were made in 13th century AD. Majority of these stories of these people come from stories passed down from generations, as they hadn't developed the writing system. The territory of the people of Anasazi encompassed 10,000 square miles, or 26,000 kilometers. Here's a picture to depict the sheer size of what the people of Anasazi controlled. They used to control parts of Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico. The place that they lived was a harsh environment to live in. The winters were extremely cold and the summers were very hot, as well as the land being in drought for a vast majority of time. The first people that were discovered in Mesa Verde were nicknamed the basket makers due to their ability to make baskets. The initial movement moved from the outskirts of the Mesa Verde to the center. The prior, their primary source of food was corn, squash, beans that they grew, and the animals that they hunted. They later developed ways to do pottery and also learned how to make weapons such as bows and arrows. The earliest design of the home for these people was that they lived partially underground. They had a hole in the roof of their home and a ladder that which they used to climb down. They had a fireplace and a storage area. The people would gather in large gatherings called Great Kibas. In this place, information was passed along and ceremonies were held. For the time being, the way of life was nice. They had enough food and a nice place to live. But as time passed, other larger communities started to appear in Mesa Verde. The region, which is now known as Colorado, doubled in population between 700 AD and 850 AD. These new communities built above-ground structures known as room blocks. The room blocks were made out of adobe, stone, and plant materials. As the population hit its maximum, point something strange occurred which caused many people to leave in large groups after these groups of people left the people the population mass of Verde was close to zero majority of people let, moved to the south regions such as chaco canyon in mexico in order to find out what made these people leave in such large groups in a short amount uh, in such a short amount of time scientists did a research and found out that the climate change was the most likely culprit the climate had become too cold for them to farm anymore the climate change did not last. After 930 AD, people started to move back to Mesa Verde region. During the time they had left, they learned how to build homes that stood on high ground and contained multiple rooms, like Great Kibas. Great houses were made as public structures. A sun temple was constructed in Mesa Verde using the golden ratio, and its design used a variety of geometric shapes that were constructed with great precision. In addition, the people of Mesa Verde also constructed unroofed circular structures for outdoor ceremonies. Recent research reveals there is that a circular structure sometimes called Mummy Lake, which despite its name has no mummies, did not actually hold water, but was likely used for some form of outdoor ritual. There was a mass trade network that the Anasazi were part of. Certain items uh, were found such as pottery vessels, macaw feather sashes, and copper bells at some sites, indicating that people had a vast trade network. In the 12th, 13th, 12th century, there were massive amounts of droughts and violence, which caused the people to leave in Mesa, Mesa where they the environment became better in early 13th century, and the population increased again to, due to this. During this time, people started to make the cliff dwellings that you can see here. The National Park Council, there are 600 dwellings still preserved, and they were built close to springs. This made their location protected both against both the elements and intruders. These were entire villages built into cliff edges. Majority of the cliff dwellings at Mesa Verde were small and only had one to two rooms. The larger cliff dwelling site is called the Cliff Palace and it has 150 rooms. Another collapse occurred at the end of the 13th century. Many of the larger dwelling sites like the Cliff Palace were left abandoned. The people seem to have gone south towards New Mexico and Arizona. There is no set reason as to why they left, but there have been a load of theories, such as a combination of factors, including climate change, population growth, competition for resources, and a conflict seem to have sparked them. There were also signs of a battle 
excavators found 23 complete or fairly complete human bodies as well as scattered bones from at least 11 other individuals, indicating that at least 34 people died at or near the end of the village occupation. Researchers wrote, noting that none of these bodies were formally buried and at least eight exhibit direct evidence of a violent death. What do you guys think? Did the Anasazi people leave for these reasons, or could there be something else that led to their departure? Let me know in the comments down below.